Breaking news, baby dolls. Ethereum has hit 3,000 American dollars. It is happening right now. Ethereum has crossed over the $3,000 threshold. It was tapping it before, but now it seems to be like actually thrusting its way into the resistance. But most importantly, friends, we want to have a look at the ETH BTC ratio, which is the ratio of Ethereum to Bitcoin. And it is still sitting here at 0.057. You know, if you put on like a little two hour chart, you can see, wow, you are making tremendous gains, aren't you? But I put it back on the weekly, you get to see what we need to do. We need to cross this line here, 0.061. Why? Well, if we go back, what you'll be able to see is in the previous Bitcoin halvening year, which was 2020, when Ethereum crossed over here, friends, Ethereum had the first sign of strength in 2020, just started moving up. Now, I actually got long here. I just I went into all in Ethereum. I researched it. I'm not drinking for like three to six hours one night. I'm like, oh, you're going to flip Bitcoin one day. I better get in. And I went in. No one believed me. No one believed me. Okay. I went super, super hard. No, you like it long and hard. But around here, friends, it, see, it, it wasn't enough. I wish it was enough. See, I thought back then it was enough to just be in Ethereum. I wish I continued my investigation into altcoins and everything else because then I would have come across people like Sassel, shout out to the Daily Gui. Sassel, he was he was making medium articles and he was just like working his way around. He's in Ethereum Maxi, you know, Ethereum Maxi friends. And he was talking about DeFi and stuff. Now, I had no idea back then. He was actually talking about something great that was going to be created on Ethereum. But unfortunately, we just thought Ethereum was going to be enough. Now, here's the thing. Ethereum was enough if you kind of knew it was not going to go as high as the ETH BTC ratio as it did in 2017, which is what it did. As you can see, ETH BTC has never gone up to the top. So we all thought like Ethereum was going to go like 20K if you just matched out the ratios. But most importantly, Ethereum, what it's doing right now, okay, Ethereum busted up here and now it might go sideways. We haven't seen that bust yet. This period, friends, don't underestimate this period. This was literally Ivan on tech making videos. So Ivan was making videos there. Ivan was making videos and he was basically saying, you got to get into this thing called Uniswap. You got to start using crypto. This decentralized stuff, this is actually using crypto. And it was crazy to think about it back then, man. But that's what it was, man. That's what it was. And if you did, not only did you get the airdrop, you got in, got early into all the altcoins. Now, around here, this was DeFi season starting. This was, sorry, uh, bubbling up and, and ending. But the best time to get in, friends, was literally just the beginning of the Bitcoin halvening year. So this is where we, are, might, where we might be right now. We're hoping our altcoins continue to thrust up like they did before. If you want to go up as well to the previous Bitcoin halvening again, 2016, this is when Ethereum was first up. It just went up only. So that was its first cycle. Now Ethereum is in its third cycle. That's why it's, it's crucial, I think, that we get there because it's a sign that it's a sign that Wall Street friends that they want to participate with a deflationary asset that's giving you real yield from people in actual use case and none of this like see wall street don't like this whole inflationary ponzi stuff why because wall street they use those strategies to dump on everybody they keep minting shares to dump on retail they go oh retail want to buy something sweet we'll keep producing more and more supplying and more and more of it so that's why they don't like stuff that you can easily manipulate the supply of you know the best example i can tell you go back to jamie dildo so the CEO of JP Mosquito, Jamie Dildo, his nickname is Jamie Diamond, some say. If you go back, what does he say about Bitcoin? Okay. Bitcoin, as it says Bitcoin, he says Satoshi is going to push a button and he's just going to mint more coins. He goes, how do you know that there's not going to be more than 21 million Bitcoin? Okay. Why is his mind thinking like that? It's because he's part of the bug eaters. He is a reptilian bug eater himself. Okay. True story. So he's thinking, wait a minute, you're saying that there's not going to be more supply? I don't believe you at all. This is, it's why it's from his banker, banker roots, okay? From his from the, from these early days in bankers. That's, that's how the game works. That's how the game works. They go, oh, what does retail want? Okay, sweet. We'll just go make more companies, more ETFs, more products just to satisfy the demand, which is literally just Wall Street dumping on everyone. So now we get to enjoy this Ethereum price heating up. And that's why we're probably going to see more altcoins move next to and this is really important, friends. This is the total crypto market cap. It is still growing, but it's slowing down its rate. This is the total crypto market cap. Look at this. Okay, you get to see it moving a long time. It's wonderful to see where it's going. Now I have the bubbles up, sorry, the, the square up here. It's around a 65% move from today up to 11X. 
So this puts us at around, you know, five years from now. Now, obviously we're hoping it's towards the 11X, but I'm just drawing you a box because this thing is obviously doing some sort of move like that. Maybe it's like eight to 10 trillion by the end of this decade. You think, oh, that, that's big. Yeah, but you gotta remember friends, it's now 2024, okay? And that is the next halvening as well. So there's another bear market in between. I hope it accelerates, but it's just showing you that, you know, you might have to wait to the end of this decade. No, you don't wanna hear it, but we're still gonna go up. Everything's gonna be fine. But there's a lot of people here, you need 100X, need a 100X. Everybody else has gone super, super aggressive, okay? Not pushing you to do anything else, but just showing you that's the game, okay? You don't have people participating with $6 with you anymore, like in early crypto days or $600. Now you have people with literally $180,000, they've sold the house to go in and they're literally holding for it and many people in there like that with $5 million plus positions, okay? Also, this is really important. Real world assets will artificially raise the market cap up. But if you mint $1 billion of treasuries on the blockchain, you don't make any altcoin value in the process. You got to hold it or find out though. So that's just show you. Yeah, we can make the market cap go up. But all you did was you took the fake government Ponzi security that they want you to buy, financial advisors, go tell you to buy the government bonds. If they just put them on the blockchain, it says, oh, we've added 1 trillion market cap. Go, yeah, or, or $1 billion, $100 billion, a trillion. Yeah, but what do you actually do? All they do is swap between each other. Now, theoretically, it's nice that they might swap with each other and there's a bit of, bit of fees here and there, but that's not a trillion dollars of altcoin value, which is what you and me want. You and me want altcoins and basically the equivalent of businesses to be put in. So that, that's effectively what we want to, um, what we really, really are looking for. It's the same as if you look at one of these rich cities, like the, the tax loophole, the tax cheating cities, the um, like Luxembourg or wherever, wherever else they are. If you look at them, it's like, these big guys, maybe like, you know, maybe like big Russian mafia type dudes, they just bring over like, I don't know, like $6 billion into a bank account and it just sits there. Okay. So if you look at the GDP, you're like, wow, $6 billion is sitting there extra from this guy, but he doesn't do anything with it. it just sits there in a bank account. Okay. Now you hope on average, it kind of splurges around, but $6 billion of value from a Russian oligarch just dumping cash in there and sitting there. That's not the same as maybe $6 billion of a, of a, of a stock. Right, of a company that have $6 billion of market cap value, that's actually generating revenue, employing people and stuff. So you get to see the difference here. Now friends, I'm gonna speak a bit more about Pulse Chain and PulseX here. And I have the price chart now. Now I've drawn this, you're probably wondering, what is this? Well, there's just, there's different scenarios I just wanna map out, they're all valid. And what I do this is because if these things underwhelm you by the end of it, because you don't know they're gonna underwhelm you, okay? If they do end up like basically not meeting your expectations. I just want you to know that it's still basically okay to participate. It's not like something's deeply wrong, but I have a bull case where we are up 10X from here. Obviously this is this is literally what everybody wants and they demand this year. You have a 4X, which is Pulse Chain X, and this is Richard Hart coins. We will recover where Hex was in the first quarter of 2019. And where do we get that from? That is finding Hex's price market cap in Q1 of 2022. So this is where basically Chainlink is now. Chainlink, this, that would be a recovery here. That would, that's the whole Richard Hart ecosystem, okay? So everything does as a 4X and you don't, and the ratios don't move. So that's where we basically get that. And a 2X is just if we match the altcoin index, that's all, which is others. So that's about 50% to a 2X, could be a spike up, hits the high around there, yeah? So that's basically pulse rent if you just matched it. So there you go. So obviously if you just matched it, you fail. Why? Because you took on all that excess risk. You got no extra return. If you get a 4X, you recover the damage from 2022 of valuations, right? But if you recover the 10X, you recover actually not just market cap of Richard Hart, but the prices. So the, the hex price will go back and recover to where it was of Q1 of 2022, which is obviously what everybody's waiting for. Also, Eric Wall will lose his bet publicly. He must tweet that he is my friend and follow me again permanently. I think it was also a bit funny if that happens because he basically said it will never hit above 10X. But you know, a lot of people are super confident we would. I mean, he's not feeling like it right now here. Yeah. But every time these things do happen, people just at least get a bit of a reality check with other coins moving and they're seeing their bags not. And we have a quick peek at PulseX. You see PulseX, this is a weekly chart. See how we have two red weeklies? If you've noticed, man, there are already souls that have been consumed. Like. 
people really really giving up now i can i can just tell and not just tell i can see it on twitter and a lot of people are like oh man this is really 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 bad that's what they're feeling but what what is it it's actually it's because these two red weekly candles why it's because i'm really expecting these green candles to continue go above day one sack and do something like that but this is basically it i don't know maybe we pull back in but yeah we got a long way to go man and i was wondering okay now i'll tell you why is everyone upset that we've stalled and like i'm being tongue-in-cheek friends i'll tell you why all right it's because of this the marketing material that came out around friends now all of these it's just a product of the whole community man everyone's expectations were very very high and if you tried to bring anyone's expectations low they called you basically lucifer they said how dare you you are insulting richard hart his previous coin did a 10,000 x to imply we won't do a 100 x from day one zach you are a scammer and you are fraud that's what everybody was saying Go back and read the comments to my video and my tweets. Literally 12 months ago, I was saying, you know, PulseX 50x above day one sack. That's still huge. That's a still expensive market, but that's still great if we get there. Crucified friends. They literally nailed me to the cross for saying 50x above day one sack. Now, all right, look how that looks like. That, that's why that was, I was nailed, friends, because look at this. The average from this was 518x. So the fact that I was saying 50x from day one, Zach, people said, you are saying we're going to do 90% less than the average. That is, that's scammer territory. How dare you say that? Well, now you're begging for that, aren't you? Because we are coming last place. We are minus 45% below day one, Zach, okay? One inch did a 10x in 131 days. Of course, there's the timing of the cycles, all these things, but I'm just, there's no wrong or right, friends. Like, we're not entitled to anything. We're lucky this stuff even works. I'm just showing you that, that's what's basically going on. This is how the story has played out. Because what people will do is, at the tops, they'll tell you this time is different. And along the way, they'll also tell you this time is different. They go, oh, it's not working. Well, how do you know it's not working, man? Maybe you got to wait for Bitcoin 70K. But I just, I don't like always talking about that because it feels like you're always moving the goalposts, right? You know how, no, what's the, what's the latest meme you hear about everyone? Everyone's saying 52 weeks to shake out the weak hands. So everybody believes that as soon as the end of May hits this year, that'll be 52 weeks for Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex to have basically had the Pulse Chain launch, and they go, we're just going to magically start going up. That's what most people believe, but we don't know. It's just belief, right? You don't have any idea about if it's going to play out or not. If we beat one inch return, we will do a 20x from today, okay? So even Pulse X going to second last place from here is that. But you're wondering, like, why the discrepancy? And I've told you why, right? Metcalf's law. In these, friends, you see in these, see in these Xs, what people are doing is, Okay, PulseX had 140,000 participants in the sacrifice phase, okay? And what people started doing was they started comparing 140,000 people to the cake launch, Injective, Sushi, Synthetics, um, Loop Ring, Rune, where they probably only had like 5,000 people. That's the truth. So you're comparing a network of 140,000 people expecting its ROI to be the same as those ones with five and 10,000 people. And people will tell you, no, nope, we're just getting started. We have more an advantage now. We're still gate kept. There's so much more potential, um, but we're bigger and better. It's all decentralized. We've removed middleman, all these, all these narratives, but what ends up being the truth? The truth is all those narratives mean nothing, zero. The only thing that matters is how early you are. You get to see it, right? You saw it from the price chart. But well, if you joined, the sacrifice with 140,000 people, which is what we all did, we got absolutely obliterated so far, literally obliterated. You learn the lesson, right? You participate with 140,000 people, you're going to get destroyed. What do you want to do though? You want to participate like early hex days, 5,000 people when everyone says it's a scam, a real scam. No one's in there with you. That's why in the IDOs and lottery tickets I do, no one's in there. Go check all the Pulse Chain altcoins, all less than 5,000 people. Less than five to 10,000 people. Go check the market caps of this. You don't need to look at market caps, but same equivalent, okay? All the ICOs and IDOs, there's like less than five to 10,000 people for us. And then when we're participating, I like that. I like that. that means you're early. You're constantly early. Now, at some point though, you can't always be early to everything. Sure, but you get slowing down cycles. People believe, hey, this, we're not going to slow down. Well, look, we haven't even getting started, but you just get to see this is where everyone's expectations come in. Now, I'm going to show you this as well. This is very telling, okay? There's a kind person out here. Okay, shout out to this gentle friend. I know you're doing a very, very good job. I really appreciate your model, but 
he has a model of your opportunity cost over the next five to 10 years. And he has house prices and your maintenance and all these. Yes, house, houses are really, really safe, friends. They're, they're basically illiquid JPEGs. You can't move them around. They're meant to store wealth. They're meant to really be a store of value that you can't move around very low velocity here and there. And people can live in them. Okay, so it's basically your blue chip. Then he com compares it to buying Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and X. But what I noticed is, this is the, this is the friends, I love this, but I love, I, I love saying this off the visa. <laughs> It just he gave a 95% chance that pulse chain, pulse X, and hex will go up more than a 100 X in the next like five to ten years. A 95% chance. I'm like, man, oh man, sir, sir, sir. That's some deep, deep conviction. 95% chance. I don't even know how you would measure such a chance. But <laughs> friends, I'm just telling you now, man. Do you see now why everyone's upset? Look where their expectations were. Look where they got their expectations from. Who do you blame? You don't blame anybody, but we blame, look, it's just, it's a product of Richard's marketing with the price performance with his low liquidity launch and measuring from the bottom. You put all that together and then the success story of Hex being early, that's what they got it from. There's no one really to blame. It's just, it's reasons for that. Just like, why do, why do people like say that Bitcoin's gonna flip gold? in this cycle at 750K? Well, probably because they saw Bitcoin go infinitely up percent return in the past few cycles. So that's just the narrative talking points. I care about where the crowd is positioned. Okay, you should care about that too if you wanna win in this game. What this win this game is, see friends, when you win this game, you're on a boat, okay? And the boat's sailing. And you're just trying to see, all right, well, at some point, the bull market ends, but, if you don't act and the bull market ends, all you can do is sell and accept whatever it gives you. You can't impact anything else, right? Or you can continue to hold and round trip, which most people will. But today, while prices are cheap, you can change your fate. You see, your future is not written yet. You are writing it now. If you buy cheap coins, Today, I'm not telling you to buy these, not financial advice. Okay, I'm literally wearing a bull hat moo. If you participate early, you buy cheap coins, what you think is cheap, you buy low, you buy in the depression, as these souls are getting consumed, okay? When the bull market does end, and you don't know, at least you've given yourself a higher probability that you walk away satisfied. So you now get to see the game. It's really a game. It's who prepared for this. That's what it comes down to. What if Bitcoin's eighty thousand dollars? It's been there sixty to ninety days, and Jim Cramer calls for three hundred grand. Right? What if Ty Lopez and Andrew Tate launch a coin at the top? What if um, Katy Perry comes out with her fingernails and stuff with crypto again up the top? All these classic X Factor top signals, and there's going to be others as well, right? What if that happens, friends? You see what I mean? Once these things start to appear, if you plan for them today, you can walk away. If you didn't plan for them, you 90% will join the camp of, don't worry about people who are leaving the ship. They're stupid. There's a giant iceberg here. No, there isn't. Close your eyes. There's no giant iceberg now. See? See what I mean? You don't want to be on that sinking Titanic ship, friends, because you know exactly what time it is. And the time is to be long and strong. Like, subscribe, bell button, or catch you soon.